Chandrayaan 3 has indeed made history. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has joined in virtually from South Africa, witnessed the safe landing of the Chandrayaan 3 all live. Though he couldn't be present at the ISRO head headquarters, he's called the ISRO chief S. Somnath right after that successful mission, the landing of Chandrayaan 3, promised him to con congratulate the team ISRO in person soon. Now, after his step over in Greece this week, Prime Minister is likely to fly to uh, Bengaluru di directly to meet with Team ISRO and rejoice with them. Meri taraf se aapko, aapki puri team ko bahut bahut badhai. For Narendra Modi, this is personal. Aur sab ko meri taraf se abhinandan kaha dijiye. Aur ho se ke utna jaldi, na aap sunko room room mein bhi badhai dunga. On Wednesday, minutes before the Chandrayaan-3 lander kissed the moon surface, the Indian Prime Minister entered the room from 7,000 kilometers away. And as soon as the touchdown was successfully complete, the celebrations broke out. People are applauding. Let us all wait to hear... It was Modi who was invited by the ISRO chief to address the ecstatic organization. ...of the entire ISRO community has come to fruition. Namaskar. Sir, we have achieved soft landing on the moon. India is on the moon. Bharat bar bar ye sabit kar raha hai. The sky is not the limit. Safely or softly. Modi's tryst with Chandrayaan goes back away. ये हम लोगों के लिए बहुत ही गर्व की बात है. Modi was personally present in Bengaluru four years ago when the previous Chandrayaan mission didn't quite end on a high. These images of Prime Minister consoling and embracing an emotional K7. The then ISRO chief exploded across the minds of a nation that joined the scientific community in mourning the loss of the lander. For Chandrayaan 3, it is likely the Prime Minister wasted to be in Bengaluru but couldn't owing to his attendance of the BRICS summit in South Africa. And given the Prime Minister's personal touch and weight of expectations, he knows he's going to have to do better than a video call. And that's why after his stopover in Greece this week, he will fly directly to Bengaluru on Saturday morning, where he is expected to spend the day with the jubilant ISRO team and undoubtedly promise them even more support, as ISRO sets its sights on the sun next. Bureau Report, India Today.